What is going on? I am Johnny Von Duke and you are watching Disney Channel. That's not Disney Channel. Yeah, this is uh this documentary was actually that bad to the point where I made this. And if you want to know how bad it was, uh the shot wasn't even in the fucking movie. In fact, it's literally just called Titanic also, and, uh, oh my god, that's not even, that's just, uh, they actually just used an AI for that, didn't they? It, you know, I really hope that someone's artwork and that's not AI generated, that, that feels AI generated from somebody who used to use, uh, Yep, uh, this is gonna be a lovely start to my day. But yeah, really, just Titanic. Just Titanic? Wow, that's, uh... Man, they totally didn't... Huh, I, I wonder why it's just called Titanic. Huh? Let, let's, uh... Huh. Yeah, this ain't too robust here. We have this lovely thing on the internet we like to call uh, a free encyclopedia. So let's see here. Save from the Titanic. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. Not even gonna try. Atlantic. Okay, here we go. The first instance of Titanic. 1943. 1953 Titanic. Ah, the classic A Night to Remember. That's three. Four. <laughs> oh my god, it's not even on here. It's literally not even considered viable. But yeah, there are literally four other films about called just Titanic. I, I could see why this one didn't make the cut on here, because... It doesn't exist. It doesn't, un it doesn't exist on here. I don't even know what this one is. This isn't what we're going over, but this is funny to me nonetheless. Also, in 2012, there was a mini series called just Titanic again. Make that five. There have been five other things before this thing that was called just Titanic. Uh, <laughs> I know it's what we're talking about here, but th they did this just to blend in with all the other ones. So somebody would get confused and watch theirs on accident. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to what's bad about it yet. This is just what's generic about it so far. Oh, it gets real spicy so far, boyos. Let's get to that. Now, what would you expect normally to see in a documentary about the Titanic? Uh... I would expect to see images of the Titanic, its passengers, notable people, its cargo, uh, Southampton Harbor would be one thing. Maybe we could see its wreck site, that would be another thing. Actually, there was, uh, the wreck of the Titan submersible, you could have mentioned that, showed photos of the Titan, that's a recent thing. There's lots of, actually, you could have showed the lifeboats, you could have showed the construction of the Titanic, there's a lot you could show. They didn't show any of that, did they? Yeah, to prevent them from trying to sue the crap out of me, the, that's why we're gonna stick with this framing, and that's why it's gonna be whited out the whole time, and I'm not gonna calibrate this at all, and it's just gonna look like shit the whole time, but, uh... I am literally 90% sure most of this is stock footage anyway. A as someone who deals in stock footage, who, as someone who literally makes short films out of nothing but stock footage, I feel like I have seen all these clips. That's a fucking jet. That's an actual fucking jet. What does a jet have to do with the damn fucking Titanic? That's not even the Titanic. That the Hey, here's a wreck site. Guess what? That, that wasn't the Titanic, though. That was a generic fucking cargo ship. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can't... What do these people have to do with it? It, it? it speaks for itself. I could just play the footage for three minutes straight and just say nothing, and we could just sit here and walk. 
That's a modern cruise ship. You can't see it because I have it whited out, but that's a modern cruise ship in that background. I can't believe... That's definitely not the Titanic right there. <laughs> there is so much in this that's not Titanic. That's the big thing. They will talk. Oh, that's also why I don't have audio. I, I don't want to get copyright struck because of audio. But they will talk about the Titanic for hours. Well, for like an hour. <laughs> Over tons of generic ship footage that has nothing to do with the time period. They're talking about tiller commands with, with the modern cruise ship as your imagery. <laughs> and that's not even a joke. I wish I could have audio, but I'm so afraid of copyright. Like, I'm glad they use nothing but stock footage and I can just crap it out with my camera for the most part and just show tiny bits of it and you get the idea. That's not even a destination site. No, that's that's not even a destination site the Titanic has been on. That, What is happening in this? Oh my god, image number two, and it's a generic drawing of the Titanic because they fucking suck ass. <laughs> that's the thing, too. Most of the images of the Titanic and shit are free. They're open. They're old as hell. In fact, to They're quote actually. this amazing documentary this amazing titanic documentary man uh, few have held our attention like the rms titanic and it actually holds on this shot i know i have it paused but it literally holds on this shot as it says that you had one job one let's dive into the lore and the ludicrous that's a ludicrous amount of water all right i'll i'll give it that rms titanic that's clearly not southampton that's clearly not the titanic uh, the titanic wasn't pure white and i'm not whiting it out on purpose this time well, I am, but the, the ship is literally white. This this is another, like, generic cruise vessel. It's not even a passenger vessel. Or of the era. And it's clearly modern day again. It, it literally looks at this ship. It, it's a different ship, too, this time. It's not even the same d dumb vessel they showed the first time. They look at a different boat and again call it the RMS Titanic. And then hold on this. I, I know I have a pause because I don't want to get. The, you know how this goes, but what what world am I stepped into? This is worse than Brightside. I, I thought Brightside was the worst. Uh, did, did Brightside make this? Did, did Brightside Films make this? Did Brightside Studio make this? Did Brightside piece of dog? But yeah, that's the biggest thing that does this in, is the fact they will literally show nothing that tells the story. It, it's, how can I put this to you? It's not the same thing like an audiobook, how can I put this? When you listen to an audiobook, it's point blank. You get what you hear, you know? You can use your own imagination, sure, but it's point blank. You get what you hear. Here's the problem. If you do a video that's like an audiobook, where the footage isn't really making sense, up, uh, there is going to be some idiot out there who's going to look at all this footage. Hopefully not. And they're gonna think all of this is somehow relevant to the Titanic in one way or another. 35 years is gonna go by. I am gonna be uh, much older. I am gonna be walking down the block. I don't know why I'll be talking about the Titanic, but somehow I'll be talking about the Titanic and somehow these guys have only watched this. That's not even a diagram of the Titanic they showed, if you could even see that. Post-editing. What do you want me to say to all this? Like, uh... 
that's not even a dining room in the Titanic. We could go on forever about how much of this is just not the Titanic. However, they do do one thing amazingly well. They do spend a good portion of the budget making these lovely 3D walkthrough renders. That is quite nice and amazing of them. That was a quite nice addition to the documentary, and it was really well done, honestly. You thought it, it was just ocean liner designs. It was it was just ocean liner designs. I, I had to troll you a little bit. Yeah, this isn't the documentary. I uh, this is a generic. <laughs> this isn't even generic. This guy actually has a notable amount of subscribers. He's more popular than I am. If you don't know who he is, but you know who I am, there's something wrong with you. Like this guy has way more subscribers. But then again, if you're watching this, you're a Titanic nerd, so you probably already know who this guy is, and you probably already knew where this came from. The, sorry, Ocean Liner Designs, I have to, uh, yeah. Actually, hold on. While we're doing this section anyway, while we have this man here, you know what? Let me list a whole bunch of channels that do Titanic stuff better. There is literally historic travels. Big Old Boats has talked about the Titanic. Brick and Mortar has talked about the Titanic. <laughs> Ocean Liner Designs, there we go. Titanic Honor and Glory. It's a channel run by him too, but that's a fifth one. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Here. You know what? I will, I will tell you this much. The documentary in question is so bad, you would wish you were watching this. Literally, uh, like for a free documentary, it is so terrible. It is so fucking dog shit. Ugh, you, it's like YouTube literally kicks your ass. When being a free documentary, are you that dog shit? Like at least crap documentaries usually end up on Netflix or something, but fuck, not even you. Not even you. You are so disgraceful, I have to use fucking historic travels. I just called Ocean Liner Designs Historic Travels. I am going to fucking hell. I'm literally not even on the appropriate screen. I came up on this on accident in post. I had to, like, set this up quickly. That's why this is so jarring, but... Literal image they show while talking about the Titanic wreck. By the way, uh... That's awesome. And when talking about the famous painting that was recovered on the Titanic, you would think they just showed the damn painting, but no, they, they have this guy randomly on screen and he contributes nothing. Literally nothing. Like, what, what did he contribute? What did he contribute? Please tell me what he contributed. I need to know. Like, I need to, I need to know what that man contributed. What does any of this stock footage contribute? What does showing me a fucking tanker, like a cargo tanker or freighter, fuck? <laughs> this, this documentary has me so screwed up. I feel like I'm drunk with how much I'm ranting right now. And I'm sober. This is the only thing I've had all day, baby. That probably isn't helping, but... <laughs> oh my god. Is that Florida? I legitimately think... <sighs> what does this have to do with it? I don't even know anymore. Ah! China. 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 China, China, China. What does China shipping have to do with the Titanic? Please tell me. What does China shipping have to do with the Titanic? I am not making any of this up. I am not. I wish I was. This can't get any worse. I could make I could make a minute by minute playthrough and it would not do justice. I could do a, a, a watch through with you all. This is basically what I'm doing right now. We could sit here in silence and look at the pictures. You would get nothing out of this. You would get nothing out of this without it. Oh, and by the way, they, they, they make this grand claim that they go into all these new unknown facts. Oh my god. They go into such minute facts 
the documentaries, like the fake humanities, I like to call them because they're obviously fake as crap and there's so much evidence against them, but like, remember when people made the dumb documentaries claiming that Olympic and Titanic switched places and all that stuff? Yeah, remember when they did that? The, this documentary is so bad, it makes that look factual. And, and all they do is go over the generic stuff everybody talks about. I think the only thing they do well is actually naming everybody appropriately. <laughs> That's the only thing, really. They, they name everything appropriately. That's it. Even just listening to it, if you were just to listen to this as an audiobook, you, it would be worse. Here, here, let me put it to you this way. This would be worse than listening to a What If series. No, wait, not, not a What If series. This would be worse than listening to a What If episode based on a franchise you have never watched before or, or witnessed before. Imagine you watched uh, Dragon Ball GT and that's it. Nothing else of Dragon Ball. Imagine you only watched Dragon Ball GT. That's literally what this documentary is. Imagine you just watched Dragon Ball GT. And this ain't even the... How can I put this in kind words? I have VHS tapes that are documentaries on the Titanic that date back to the 80s and 90s. And they are loads better. I'm not even fucking with you. I have documentaries from the early 2000s on DVD of the Titanic that... That, that are so much more informative on this. The 80s did it well, the 90s did it well, the 2000s did it well. Honestly, I think the court hearing after the in initial incident went over, that's not even the Titanic. And that's a render. That's a render, by the way. <laughs> that's a render too. They had the, oh, th yeah, these are actual renders. I'm not joshing you this time. I'm not trolling. These are actual renders they had done. And not only do they look like crap even with my editing, uh, well, they look like crap on purpose and in addition to my editing. But um, yeah, you probably noticed briefly, none of those were, were the Titanic once again. Though. I feel like a broken damn record. I, I feel like a broken record. I could literally go on for ages. But instead of going on for ages, I want other people to review this who are better at reviewing this than me. Actual Titanic experts who aren't me, I challenge you, please watch this. Do something about this. Do something that will give justice back to the poor people who perished to have this bastardization made in their names. It's... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. But yes, that's the real spit, guile, the horrible potato-ness that leads into all of this. And, uh, unfortunately I've lost my, uh, intro-outro, uh, a little bit ago during, uh, data moving. So, uh, you guys know how to click all this stuff, right? You guys know how to click stuff. You guys know how to click all this stuff. Anyway, I have been Johnny Von Duke. Gotta do it like always. Get out of here, you filthy animals. Goodbye.